How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad that each and every single one of you can make it today. Today I'm going to be installing a slight mod that I bought and ordered before I got laid off. And we're going to be installing it. It's something really simple. It's not, it's, it's really cheap. It's under $30. It's going to be on my list of top mods for this car whenever I do it. But what is it? It's called an airfoil. Throttle body airfoil. Okay. And what it does, I'll show you when we get this apart. But the throttle body is the air comes in through. Let me get you down so I can explain it exactly. Fred out there crowing. <laughs> air comes in through your filter, goes around into your throttle body. When inside your throttle body, it is not a smooth transition. <laughs> it goes in, it hits all kinds of blind spots and dead ends and all that, and it creates turbulence in it. And one of the old school ways of creating free horsepower is by smoothing that airflow. I mean, let's face it, that's why we have the cold air intakes. So that when the air comes in, it doesn't go through all those crooks and bends and all that stuff, and the air is disturbed. And does it create horsepower? Maybe one or two at the very top end of the RPM rings. I'm sorry, but he's, he's wanting to be in the video today. But uh, more importantly, what this does is it, it creates a crisper, um, a crisper, more responsive throttle is what I'm trying to say. In other words, when you push down on the gas, the air has a smooth pathway in there. And the other thing I got for it is just a a beautifier piece, if you will. And it, it's a throttle body plate cover. It goes right there. And I was waiting, trying to find one to where I could have it personalized, put on it what I want. But I just couldn't ever find that company. So I just ordered a black one. It says Z28 to add a little bit of, you know, pizzazz to the cover and everything. And what you're going to need to get this off is not an Allen wrench, but an actual Torx wrench. You can buy them in packs, like 15 bucks at Walmart. I mean, not Walmart. Well, I think Walmart does carry them now. But you can buy them in packs at places like Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that, that has eight to 10 of them on, like an Allen pack, you know, the ones that fold out and everything. I'll insert all the pictures. But what you're gonna need is a T20 to get that off. And I'm gonna check right now to see what size you need to put it back on. Now to put it back on, if you use the screws that come with the kit, and I don't know if I am or not, I'm gonna see if the original screws will fit. If not, I'll have to use the new ones. But they are not a Torx. They are actually square head or an Allen head. And I don't know what size this is. This is just an old kit that I had. And you can see it's the fourth one in. I, the size is long gone, so I do not know what that is. So you're gonna need that pack of Allen wrenches and a pack of Torx, or at least a T20. So. With that said, let's get this apart and see what we got. It's very simple. Very, very simple. All you have to do is take this loose, push it over to the side, take this cover off, take the gasket off. It comes with a new gasket. Right there on the back side of it, it's got a new gasket and it's got the cover. And as you can see, it's going to look really good on there. Got to add a little bit of pop to it. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, first thing we want to do is remove this. So first we have to undo this electrical connector to the sensor. And be very careful because this stuff gets old and brittle over time. Put it out of the way. Loosen up these screws. On the radiator, on the hose clamps, we got one here and one here. Loosen those up and get this out of the way. Now you can see exactly what I was talking about. Air comes through all the smooth elbows and everything and then it gets right here is rammed in this little opening and you can see all these places where air gets trapped and when it gets forced in there it wants to come back out when it comes back out it's trying to meet and blend with the air going in this way so that is the purpose of this throttle body airfoil and that purpose is to give the, all the air a smooth transition to go into the intake so now that we have that out of the way we take this cover off and like i said all it takes is a let me find again t20 and these are already loosened up and be careful when you take these out because if you drop them I guarantee you you will never find these little itty bitty screws and they are small so don't drop them because you'll never find them it's not that they will go in anywhere where you have to worry about it it's that they will 
just be gone if you ever need another one to replace it or you want to try to use these with something else you won't have all of them now that we have all the screws out of it you just simply lift this off and as you can see there's a gas the factory gasket is still on here but it's all messed up and everything so just carefully take that off and then you'll see what is underneath now there is a certain amount of air that has to go through all this that is why if you look at the bottom of the airfoil there's a notch right there that allows some air to go through there it comes up and, and goes into the intake along with the any vapors or anything that comes out of the PVC or PCV vent it comes up here and goes back into the intake and that's why you'll see dirt grease blow by all that good stuff up here that's why you'll see it in there now you can take this opportunity to use some carb cleaner it won't hurt anything just stick some stick your rag in the hole spray it down real good and then wipe it off or you can just take a rag and wipe it off the best you can for the purpose of this video I'm going to just use my rag and clean it up a little bit but I will later come back and hit it with the car cleaner and get it nice and spotless now as you can see I just took a rag and wiped it off a little bit you can see how much better it looks and everything but I am going to after I do this video go down to the store and buy a a can of carb cleaner and come back and take this back off and clean it but for the purpose of this video I didn't want to do it to save time because I've got a lot going on and everything just trying to get stuff straightened out and I'm just going to do it for the video now you open up the pack with your new cover it's going to look good isn't it and then you just take it and as you can see there's a hole there and a hole there those have to remain open well, we know that gasket doesn't go that way so we flip it over and now you can see this hole lines up with that hole this hole lines up with that hole so that is exactly how the gasket is going to go just like so now i want to see if my factory screws will fit and they will if you decide you want to use the old screws they will indeed fit in the recessed holes for the new cover but they don't match really good they're not black so i'm going to use the new ones that came with it now earlier in this video i said i did not know what size that allen wrench was i got a magnifying glass and found the size on the allen wrench itself it is a 3 30 seconds 3 slash 32 but before we do that we have to put on the throttle body so let's get it put on i mean airfoil so let's get it put on So you have to unthread this piece off and what it's going to do is it's going to go down in this hole right here it's in the top and go on this and don't worry if you drop it in there it does not go anywhere except into this top opening that the screw goes through it's it's sealed off because what's going to happen is vent fumes and stuff come from here go through there down in that back into the intake and then out but here's what it looks like with the airfoil on there. And as you can see, it covers up and blocks. All that stuff I was telling you about. And if you buy a new modern throttle body, whether it's a Bob White or a BBK or whatever, the new throttle bodies come with this machined in. But what we're doing is we're actually replacing it and adding it. So this is a factory throttle body. That's why we don't have that. That's why we're adding this. But let me try to get you up here so you can see what's going on. If you look right down in that hole, as I stick this in, you'll see the screw come through. See it right there? So we have to hold that piece and thread that in. But I just wanted you to see what it looks like in there so you know what we're doing. And there's an Allen wrench that you'll need for that also. As you can see by that, I'll give you the size here in just a second. The size of the Allen wrench for this is a one eighth. So I'm gonna set the Allen wrench down for a second and I'm gonna figure out exactly which way this goes because this does not come with any kind of instructions. All right, so I grabbed a pair of needle nose so because I don't like just dropping stuff down in my engine. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's sealed or not. And it, it bottoms out, you can hear it. And the screw will not line up with the hole. So it has to go in with the point down. And I'll get you down here so you can see exactly what's going on. 
hopefully you can see this, but if I come in when it's squared off on the bottom, it's hitting in the top of that throttle body. So it does have to go one way and one way only. And that's with the angled side down. So now I'm just going to stick that in there like such. Kind of wiggle it around so that the bolt will start. Which is right there. And I just simply let go of it. And like I said, it won't, it can't fall down in there. It won't fall down in there. And all this is aluminum, so we're not going to bear down on it when we tighten it down. We just want to snuggle it. Snuggle it. <laughs> God, I still think about last night. Mm. Anyhow, you just want to snug it. You don't want to bear down on anything when you're dealing with aluminum. And the bolt is so long that there's no way that if it backs out of the piece up top that that piece will fall down in your throttle body and go into your intake so don't ever think that that can happen if you have a metric set of allen wrenches the number three fits that perfect the one eighth will do it but the number three fits it perfect so you can tighten it down good and not have any wiggle in it because we don't like stuff with wiggle in it Now let me get you up here and show you. As you can see, it still has plenty of room for any bypass or anything that comes out of your PCV pipe to go into the throttle body and still go down into the return flow of the intake. So there's no problem there. So now all we got to do is put the cover on and put it back together. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use the bolts that they supplied with it, which takes a 332 allen wrench and again i promise you i will come back and clean this all up with, with um carb cleaner don't worry about it try not to move your gasket set the cover back down on it nice and neat put you a bolt in there and finger start it i recommend starting all of them before you tighten down any because if you if you put one in tighten it down it might not let all of the holes line up good so i strongly recommend starting all of them and then come back and tighten them down and again you're not going to cinch them down you're going to just snug them down and what i'm actually going to do is when i come back and clean this with the carb cleaner I'm going to put some anti-seize on the threads of these because these are not aluminum screws that I, I mean, or bolts that I, I don't think they are I don't know for sure so by me not knowing what they are I'm going to put anti-seize in it because I do know that the throttle body itself is aluminum and now just tighten everything down I recommend just going until the bottoms just let it bottom then go to the next one and do all of them like that and then come back and give them that little final snug because you don't want to put undue force on any one bolt anytime you do anything that's why there's a a pattern when you do automotive work that's why there's a bolt pattern that you have to follow to tighten it that way it snugs everything down level and not create undue force on any one area and that creates an air gap. You don't want air gaps. All right, I got them all snug, so now I'm just gonna give them an extra little bit. Like I said, I'm not trying to kill it. I'm just making sure it's tight. And that's all there is to that. Now all we have to do is put the elbow back on, and this job is and hooked up our wire connector, and this job's done. But that's all there is to it. Literally, literally 15 minutes, and that's with cleaning out the top of the throttle body. It is so easy to do, everybody. I highly recommend it. And like I said, the, the new throttle bodies, the replacement throttle bodies that you get come with this built in, it's machined in. So you don't really have to do this, but this is just a simple trick to, to help the airflow. And it's an old school trick. Anytime you can make the air where it first enters the body to where it goes into the intake, if you can make that any smoother, any quicker, any shorter, that's always the best route. 
And you know me, I always save everything. So I took the old part, the old gasket, and even the old screws, put them in the bag that's going to build with the rest of the parts that I take off my cars. In case I ever sell it, I decide I want to go back to it. Because when I sell a vehicle, I always put all the parts that I take off in the vehicle so that the new owner can decide what he wants to do with them. Or if I never sell the vehicle and somebody comes up and needs a part, and they don't have money you know they're you know depending on how everything's going in their life and everything i'll say here you can have it because we're supposed to support each other as americans and as human beings in general we're supposed to support each other we're supposed to help each other and right now there's so much of that that's been lost because of certain people pushing agendas and i'll leave it at that but anyhow look at how nice that looks the throttle body cover just set it off to to level 10 that just looks so cool i am glad that i got the black i was going to get the red because i have red there and i have red there i was going to get red that way it ties it in going across but everything under here is black and silver so i decided to go with black i have a lt4 intake left over from when i was going to do the lt4 conversion i had, I had the intake the heads the push rods, the camshaft, the rockers. I had all that stuff. And I still have the intake, which I'm going to be, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But anyhow, I was gonna get a red one of these to go on it when I was planning on putting it on the car. But So I was gonna do red on this one in, in memories because I'm no longer gonna do the LT4 conversion. But I decided to go black. And I think I made the right choice with the black. What do you think? I think it just looked really, really good. Now I need to find the screw and put back in this because I have lost it. Oh, I remember why it's not in there now because I don't have the actual bracket on there for that screw to go in. But anyhow, there you go. That simple, that easy. Will it add horsepower? Yeah, it might add two or three at the very top end of the RPM rings again. But that's not what it's about. It's about making the throttle response crisper more instantaneous making the airflow go through there that much better and that's what it's all about any of you that don't know how engines work the more air the more fuel you can cram into an engine the more horsepower it's going to make so with these being electronically controlled cars as far as far as fuel flow and all that it will automatically compensate for the air that's going to be now coming in that's just like when i used to run nitrous oxide on this at one time i had a 75 shot dry system and the reason i went with 75 75 horsepower dry shot was because you can run up to 100 shot with the factory computer the factory fuel management and all that stuff the the, the computer will read the lean condition when you throw in all that nitrous oxide and it will open up the injectors the pulse and everything make it longer and all that stuff so it's just throwing the appropriate amount of gas in to match it so these cars are very smart as far as you know tinkering with things whereas with that one you put headers on it long tube headers you got to have a tune that's why i went with the shorties to start with yes i'm going to be putting long tube headers on it but i didn't want to do all that just yet because i have other stuff that i want to get and put on it before i do the tune i only want to tune it one time because dyno time is expensive but with on this car it automatically compensates for small things like that i mean i could actually change out the throttle body to a larger throttle body and the computer will automatically compensate for the difference in the airflow so with all that said and stuff you probably don't care about get out there and enjoy your cars it finally quit raining it's a nice day it's like 65 degrees here in north carolina today and it's just a beautiful day so i wanted to get out here and finish this video because as soon as i started the other one i had something come up i had to stop and that's why i'm in different clothes but we're out here today we're getting this done it's finished super simple again 10 15 minutes i will put the links to the ones that i actually bought off ebay in the in the description box below whether they'll still have them for you or anything when you go to do it i don't know but at least you will be able to use the titles and all that to be able to search other ones if you're interested in doing this and i'll try to find one on amazon too that way you can you can purchase it through there and help support the channel just a little bit you know what i'm saying but however you want to do it 
great great mod simple easy get out there and enjoy your car because oh i am so enjoying this today and we'll talk to you later thanks each and every one of you again for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one